Hello everybody, it's Nicholas Lionrider here, and uh, welcome back to our Let's Build of the Roger Williams Park Zoo. I am joined today with uh, a brand new uh, guest host, uh, Otter. Say Hello! Otter. And uh, Lemur uh, is returning. Uh, Silly old me, I'm back. Yep. Fan favorite of the series, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, actually, Otter, you, mu you are the first girl here, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. dude, you're up and you're standing. I know. Right I've had, I've now had what, six or seven guests, and you're the first girl. So there you go. Yeah. Feel um, appreciated. Uh, so yeah, basically, uh, if anyone watched last episode, I did the, you know, uh, anyone. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> uh, the majority of the um, Marco Polo Trail, which is like the red panda exhibit and the red crown crane. And uh, in this episode, I'm fundamentally focusing on the uh, snow leopards. So um, the snow leopard exhibit is kind of uh, an interesting layout because it's a, it's connected to the moon bear uh, enclosure, and it's all like rocky and I don't know. It's it's an interesting build, but it was a pain uh, pain in the neck that I explain later on when I get to the netting. Um, I don't know. How was your day? How was your day, guys? I, you know, I never like ask that with a, any of my hosts. Well, you know, I've just been living for this episode, so <laughs> yeah. I'm so elated that it's finally here. <laughs> this is not a split second decision or anything. I'm excited. Yeah, I know. It was literally just like because you know I needed to get this episode out. I don't know. I've been doing daily uploads. That's been like a a, a weird thing. You said that, yeah. and I love getting pinged about it as well. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, oh. Join the Discord. Join the Discord. Uh, <laughs> it's the I Am the Lion Rider official Discord. Link will be in the description. We have uh, we have fun. Apparently now we have just daily movie nights. So if you just come in, you can just watch free movies. Apparently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um i don't know see there's not like a lot to say about this build really because like rocks it, yeah Am i know right, guys? yeah i know because like when it comes down to it it's like um a very straightforward build like in a weird way like i can talk about like oh i, I did the rock work but like i've explained rock work in the past and uh later on i do like oh foliage but like i don't know like not a lot of it is and it's obviously not a modded episode because I, I know the modded episodes uh usually do a lot better um just because you know oh my god look it's a new animal but uh the snow leopard you know i like it it's, it's probably one of my favorite animals in the game but you know it's just it's a cat so it's cute that happens when the snow melts uh, is it just a leopard yeah, so far I'm not seeing any, uh, any snow, so I'm a little bit confused. Um, yeah, so I am making this, uh, realistic, so, uh, I didn't add any snow to the enclosure. Um, now, I, and that's only because I've been designing the entire zoo off of, like, the zoo during summertime. Um, mm -hmm. Because hypothetically, do you even have like a seasons option? Yes, it does. Oh, I just nice. never use it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's why I didn't know because I literally have never seen anybody use it before. Yeah, well, it, it's a shame too because like they have a very intricate weather system. So mm. uh, if you actually look at the weather system, they have like torrential downpours and then they have snow, and the snow is procedural. So like if you use it, it'll like literally cover the entire like everything that should be covered in snow will be covered in snow. Nice. So, I mean, that's the thing I think that's used way more in like challenge and career mode more than like sandbox stuff. Yeah, exactly. Because I feel like no one wants. Who is going to be like, oh, I really want to see what my, you know, nice exhibit that I've worked on for a few hours, what it looks like when it's torrentially downpouring and like no one's at the zoo and like. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no one ever really wants to, you know, focus on that. But, uh, yeah, past that, I'm focusing on the, uh, the little side rocks. So, basically, the entire snow leopard exhibit is part of a larger, um, I guess, uh, cement rock piece that formation that connects it around to, like, where the moon bears are. And it's easily the biggest rock, you know, uh, 
design. The biggest rock. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. the big, the biggest uh, like prop, I guess, in the zoo. Right. You're reaching a SpongeBob levels right now. It's a rock, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so yeah, basically, I had to like I I was using my reference images like back and forth and. Uh, I, I tried Zoo Chat. I don't, uh, you, you guys definitely know what. It. Yeah, Zoo Chat. It's a forum for zoos. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> it's like and, Reddit for zoos. Yeah, exactly. Oh and basically, it, um, it has a catalog of every single zoo in, in the world. Um, and some people just take pictures of every single zoo exhibit. Um, oh, that's really helpful, though. It is. It is. It is helpful, it, or it would be, if people took better photos of the snow leopard uh, enclosure. Um, <laughs> like you could see their finger in it. And it's like all. Oh, no, oh. no. It's even worse than that. It's even worse. Like, oh, um, really? uh, I'll just pull up some pictures of it right now because you guys have to like. They're just pictures of like leaves and bamboo and stuff, and like. Or, like, it'll be the chain link fence, but then there'll be a, like, bush or something right in front of the fence, so you can't see anything. <laughs> or, um, if the snow leopard is in the shot, you have no context of, like, you know, what the exhibit looks like at all, because it's just, like, the snow leopard, like, behind, like, 20 layers of, like, bushes and trees and stuff. They're going for that Instagram level shot. Yeah. And it's also because, because basically, um, in real life, um, the entire snow leopard enclosure is in a mesh fencing. So, um, you know, you guys know, like, about chain link fences, right? Like, you know, like, yes. Um, yeah. so most zoos have chain link fences, but for select species, they'll do an over top chain link fence, like, with mesh wiring and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, in the case of the snow leopard enclosure, in real life, they have the entire thing covered in mesh. Um, and, well, Lemur was there when I was doing the, um, the porcupine episode, which was, like, the old yes, Lemur enclosure. Yes, with no chain link stealings. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, in the, the next episode after that, I, I found a guy on the workshop made an entire aviary, um, like, chain link mesh, like, modular set that you could use. And it had, like, uh, roofing and stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I modified that. And so later on in the video, um, I basically try to use that for the entire layout of the leopard enclosure. And it, it does work. It does look good. But... Uh, Are you sure? Well... <laughs> well, because I explain it. Because uh, in the end, uh, I'll just spoil it. I remove it. Because... Um, it just made the exhibit hard to look at, because basically the entire thing looked like it was, like, in a grid. Like, I, you'll, oh, you'll, ew. You'll, you'll, you'll see when, uh, I, I did a little, um, like, fly-through in real time, uh, just to look at, like, what it looks like, you know. Drone uh, shots. Yeah, uh, and that, just because, uh, when I do the final, like, you know, uh, beauty shots of the, the snow leopards and stuff, there's not gonna be the meshing, so, uh, I'm just warning everyone now, just because I, while I went through the effort, I spent, like, a solid hour on the meshing, and then at the end, I just, I sat back, I looked at it, and I'm like, I don't like this, nah. this is gross, yeah. yeah, and then I deleted the whole thing, um, <laughs> struggles but uh past that i'm doing uh all the, the like i said the big rock work like you know i didn't think it would be like this intense because like when you look at the actual exhibit like the rocks are just kind of pushed to the like back of the enclosure and you don't really look at them that much but um like when i was like recreating it it was like pretty intricate like it, it reminded me of like when i did the cheetah exhibit like which was like <sighs> several months ago like <laughs> um mm -hmm. And then what was funny is, uh, Minty, one of the other people I, uh, he was on last episode, uh, he had a bet with me that I, I couldn't get the snow leopard, uh, to fit into this little cave, and it worked, so I won that bet. Wow. Wow, um, how much does he owe you? Uh, nothing, probably just, wow. you know. I, you should have, like, said, like, a Bitcoin or something. Yeah. Just, oh, wow. He, he, he's just banned from my videos now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been Yeah, no, no, you can no longer host any of the videos, Minty. There you go. No, no longer allowed to. Though I will say, uh, Lemur currently has the the record for most episodes. Yes, let's go. Uh, so yeah. 
fan favorite, baby. So oh, I think I, I'm finally done with the rock work. So um, now I'm do doing the uh, the foliage, and I'm looking for. There's a big oak tree that's really really tall in the center of the enclosure, and literally it it's so tall it breaks through the mesh fencing. It's actually kind of funny. Mm. Um, and so I'm looking for something that like works for it, and in the end, I yeah, I thought that beech tree might have worked. In the end, I just used my favorite tree, which is the Brazil nut tree, because um, it's the only like super tall one. And then there's also a half tree in the enclosure, and I took the Planet Zoo log and I just flipped it upside down, and it literally looks like just Planet like a, a, <laughs> yeah, it's it's just flipped upside down, so it looks like it's like oh, an actual tree that's like cut in half. And it actually it's a branded looks, log. Yeah, it, but it works really well. So yeah. past that, I add some uh, bamboo, and I should mention the majority of the snow leopard enclosure is normally covered in like leaves, uh, mm -hmm. mainly from that big oak tree. Like, uh, so uh, when I went earlier in the year, it was winter, and so like uh, it, all the leaves looked like they were like autumn leaves, and so they just littered the entire enclosure with just like you know red leaves. And so right. I was trying to figure out, like, you know, what I could do with that. Because surprisingly, there's no, like, maple leaves or anything that you could place on the ground. I, I was kind of surprised about huh. that. Um, yeah, that's really weird for a game that has so much customization on it. Well, it's especially weird when, like, you know how I was just saying, like, oh, yeah, they have all the seasons. Yeah. <laughs> Except for autumn for some reason. Um, <laughs> so uh, right now uh, I... I find out that because of the way I did the terrain, the uh, environment wasn't lining up correctly. So I had to fake terrain by using my my trusty Minecraft blocks, um, <laughs> and I be, it's just mulch. And so I just uh, I, I sink that all into the ground to make like a flat terrain, and then it just looks weird when it's like floating. I know it it, like, it, 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 like, it it see it's weird until I add the foliage, and then it looks fine. Cause I, I, I honestly just put like graham crackers on the floor. Yeah, right so I add yeah. I add some rocks to kind of cover it up, and then I add, uh, yeah, like add some bushes. There you go. See, <laughs> now it doesn't now it doesn't look weird. <laughs> I really like this bush too. This I think I think it's like apple wood or something. Um, and I really like that bush now. It it works with like the New England, uh, environment. You Up lied. You said you were done with the uh, rocks, and then you started taking them back out. No, what I did. Uh, no, I think I might just modify them. I don't. I'm <laughs> just placing the same tree like everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean it works. It He's does a work. Yeah. It's just during the like when you're actually doing it, it well, just looks funny because you're just putting the same yeah. thing everywhere. Well, so did you see like in the background? I did. I placed that um like oak tree and stuff. That is literally just to cover up the um snake house. Uh, in the back, because you shouldn't be able mm. to see it from the snow leopard enclosure. Um, right. Oh, this is where I start experimenting with how to uh, emulate leaves. So I found this caribou moss, uh, and I, I'm sprinkling it throughout the exhibit um, just to make it look like they're like fallen leaves or something. And uh, it's not perfect, but I think it actually like looks kind of okay. Yeah. I would uh, agree. Just to give it. You like, keep this in. Uh, yes. So, nice. so again, the actual exhibit with all of its terrain and stuff is kept. Um, we should be arriving Whoa, at fallen tree. Oh yeah, that's kind of that's kind of a cool thing too. They have a, a birch Thank tree you. that's kind of uh, leaned over, um, and then I'm just covering up some of these like side things. I also uh, off camera did a custom fence around this entire um, pathway, uh, just because I get I feel like the fences Whoa. are like not that entertaining okay so this is the mesh fence that i was uh referring to earlier so oh, a lot of movement yeah oh, is, uh, <laughs> yeah oh yeah. my gosh what are you doing um just because i i knew that uh it was going to be super tedious like i said this actually t took me like an hour and it it does hurt to watch <laughs> it does You're lighting yeah. them up properly as well yeah. Yeah. What the heck? So that's why it took so long. <laughs> so I was trying to use these pieces to like line them up. Like I said, I find it funny the tree like cuts right through it. <laughs> the tree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. um. Now these are using. I think they're like some sort of like fence material or something. So they're made in cubes. So where I had to like try and like cover up the seams and stuff, it was like so tedious and stuff. 
So that so to begin with, I don't think the the fencing like looked nearly as good as I would have liked to begin with, just because it wasn't perfectly aligned. Because um, there's like I said, there's no like real tool in the actual game. Um, so I just tried my best um, to like emulate it, but overall, like again, you'll see uh, when I do the uh, you know real time uh, look at it why I didn't like it. Uh, I'm you just shocked you even did this. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, well, was it worth it? Um, well, I deleted it in the end, so, so no. <laughs> yeah, so it's not worth it. <laughs> no, but, um, okay, so, oh. yeah, I know, it's gonna freak out for a second. Uh, this is just me, uh, spawning in the Snow Leopard, because I wanted to see if I could actually, um, like, you know, where it can actually move on the terrain and stuff. Uh, it was able to climb underneath the fence, uh, so I had to fix that. And, uh... It's uh, just... You tried to escape oh, so quick! So, so right here, uh, this is where I was saying I could get the Snow Leopard to fit in the cage. Uh, originally Minty was right, it wasn't able to, but I fixed it so that I could. Um... Got him. But, uh, so yeah, we should be arriving at the real-time view in just a second. Um... Like, I, oh, I added a, added a sign. Uh, oh wait, no, actually I... I, I love signs. I think the uh, real-time thing I actually uh, might have moved. Um, but basically, the um, uh, this is when I slowed down the uh, time-lapse again, just to look a little nicer. Because <laughs> um, basically, there's a sign outside of both the Snow Leopard and the Moon Bear uh, fences, or uh, enclosures that just have like a sign with their name on it, and it's like engraved into the uh, rock. So I tried to make it look uh, as close as possible. But, um, overall... Too bad you don't have the best font selections. <laughs> yeah, uh, this font, uh, the oregano font, uh, worked decently well. I think that's, a it's actually not too far-fetched from what the actual, uh, mm -hmm. thing is. But, um, yeah. Red? Oh, oh, yeah. Not red. This is me, uh, making the, um, what's it called? I'm making, uh, there's a fence, uh right in front of the other fence <laughs> and so i'm just making nice. that out of uh what the east asian planks uh i don't know i've been doing a lot of custom fencing lately i, I do it usually off camera just because i don't think my viewers want to watch me make fences a million times mm -hmm. um especially if i half the video is like like do you remember way back Lima remembers, like, way back at the very beginning when I would spend half the episode, like, just placing down logs and stuff. Yes, yeah. And I knew that people just weren't gonna like that, because it's just so tedious and not really valuable. They like the end product, because, like, obviously custom fences always look nice in the end, but, like, um, yeah, it's not fun, like, if I, you know, spent the entire video doing this meticulous placement of objects and stuff. Well, I mean, you did rocks for the entire video, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah but I, I feel... I don't know how much better that is. Yeah, There's I don't know. Board. It is. Oh, God. Uh, oh, yeah, all the bamboo. Just keep on copying and pasting. <laughs> it's the bamboo. Okay, yeah. so, so this is what I wanted to talk about. So this is what the oh, inside of the cage God. looks like. So do you see why I didn't like the result? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it makes the entire thing look like it actually makes it look like in if if you've played Jurassic World Evolutions like the aviary from that expansion, uh, and so that's why I just took it out. Oh, look at the uh, snow leopards playing. We don't get to see you take it out though. Uh, no. So in the next episode, you'll see it. Uh, just take my word for it. It looks significantly better. No, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, you there can see it. Yeah. It, it doesn't ah, look. It so looks. It does look a lot better. Cleaner. Yeah. You can also see the